Open fire cooking is something that almost half the world's population do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's something that kills four million people around the world every year. Many of those deaths are related to lung issues. So that's pneumonia in young children. About half a million young children die of pneumonia relating to, the, to open fire cooking every year. Women who get conditions like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic lung uh, disease, and cardiovascular disease as well. Typically there's no ventilation within the building because you've got fire on because you're cooking and you want to keep warm. Um, so that means that you've got particulate matter and you've got um, unburnt hydrocarbons filling that, that space and it's causing World Health Organization est estimate 4.3 million deaths a year from things like lung cancer, COPD, childhood pneumonia and so on. We've run a, a large trial which we called CAPS, the Cooking and Pneumonia Study. In this study we compared the effects of cleaner burning cook stoves to continuation of open fire cooking. And in this study that included 150 communities in Malawi, over 10,000 uh, children in total followed up for two years. We were looking at the impacts on pneumonia, but also on safety issues and particularly burns. So this is the ACE-1 solar biomass cook stove from African Clean Energy. If you compare to an open fire, right, which burns fuel really, really inefficiently, what this does is it drives air into the flame inside the burning chamber and that uh, raises the temperature so high that it actually gasifies fuel. So then you're burning fuel very efficiently. And that's its sort of key goal. Now, in order to drive the fan, which drives the air, we had to have a battery. The battery itself is recharged with the solar panel that you may see in front there. Uh, and this also provides uh, additional electricity so what we thought is why not have a USB and a DC port it means you can recharge mobile phones power LED lighting and cook really cleanly indoors uh, all at the same time the fan driven fire burns the fuel far more efficiently and cleanly and reduces to, to zero the particulate matter and those unburnt hydrocarbons so consequently you've got a healthier living environment um, the cost of those units is around about $100, but we think if we're going to save those number of lives worldwide, that, that's, it's a good start for, for those chronic effects. We brought into Malawi from Lesotho, where these stoves are manufactured, almost 20,000 uh, stoves. There's a lot of pneumonia in rural Malawi amongst children. Approximately 15% of children experience an episode of pneumonia. That's a lot. And given that pneumonia is one of the leading causes of death, this highlights a, a major health issue. 4.3 million people per year die from the effects of household air pollution, and that's, that's really substantial. And also when you look at the effect on the environment, it's around 18% of all the global greenhouse gases um, are from things like cooking on open fire uh, and inefficiently burning this kind of biomass. It's important to be able to tell that story in forums where people are involved. And when you look at um, something like lung health, this obviously is something that we need to make more people aware of, uh, and also look at the source of the problem rather than how we're going to solve it um, after it's already become a problem.